it's Michelle from Scrap Secrets and I'm back. I have another card video for you guys. Um, I was away for a week in Aruba with my entire family. We went for a week's family vacation and when I was there one of my girlfriends from high school asked me to make a wine themed bridal shower card for a bridal shower that she's going to this weekend. So on the plane ride on the way back home I came up with a couple ideas and so it came out Thursday. Friday I made some sketches and went through some of my stuff and then I started to put the card together this morning and came up with a completely different idea than what I had started off with or even my sketches. So I'm going to show you guys what I did and then I will tell you how I made it. So here's the front and then here's the inside. So the first thing that I did was I cut a piece of white cardstock down to four by five and a quarter. And then I used an embossing folder with a Tim Holtz diffuser. So this is the embossing folder that I used, the Cuddlebug Hugs and Kisses folder. It's just X's and O's. So what I did was I used this diffuser. And if you've never seen these or never used these before, how it works is wherever the plastic is, is wherever the pressure is gonna go. And that's the part that's gonna get embossed. Any part that is open like this is going to stay the um, unembossed area. So what I do is I put the piece of cardstock in the middle, then I line up my diffuser to make sure that all the parts that I want to get embossed are embossed, and then make sure it's kind of even so that if I wanted my image in the middle, if I didn't, if I wanted it up higher, I would move it like this. Um, and then once I've had, I have the diffuser where I want it, I take my washi tape and then wrap it around here just so that it stays in place. I also use the magnetic platform from Lifestyle Crafts. So when you're making a sandwich like this for the cuddle bug, you don't need a plate on top of it. So this will shift a little bit if you don't, because there is no plate. So, um, that's actually why I use the washi tape to hold things together. But, there you go. So I ran that through the cuddle bug and it came out and there's a flat circle in the middle, which is exactly what I wanted. And then what I did was I took this Fiskars stamp set. I believe this is Fiskars. I don't have the packaging anymore, so I don't know the name of it. Sorry. But I used this wine bottle and this wine glass and I used stays on jet black ink to stamp them because at first I wasn't sure if I was going to use my markers or do something different. So I was going through my stuff and I remembered that I had this really cool thing, the Versamark pen. If you guys do embossing, this is something that you really want. I got this for $2 in the clearance section at AC Moore a couple years ago. I never really figured out how to use it. And then some, one day somebody said something about if your image doesn't, you're embossing an image with Versamark and it didn't all come out, you can use the Versamark pen and put the ink down on it and then redo it so you don't have to stamp it over again. You can kind of just, if like if a line didn't connect, you could use this to connect the line and then go back and re-emboss it. So when you emboss items, the only thing that gets embossed is like here where the black would be. But I wanted the liquid to be embossed. So I used the Versamark pen and it has two different ends if you've never seen it. Here's the little nib end and then here is the brush tip end. So you can cover larger areas. So I used the little nib end and colored in the middle where the liquid would be. And then I used this Recollections Raspberry Embossing Powder and heat set it. So this is the way it came out. I'm going to show you guys. You can see the texture in it. I also used a Pro Marker in Ice Gray 1 to color in the top of the glass and the stemware the stem of it. Then I cut these out. I did what's called fussy cutting and just cut around the edges. And then I used this Studio G black marker just to kind of go around the edges because when you cut it, you're going to have a little white edge on the side of it. So just to make it look a little bit better. I always do that. You don't have to. That's just an extra step. But I think it looks nicer so you don't see a white edge around the outside of the bottle or the glasses or if you accidentally cut a little bit too far in or leave a little bit too much white it covers it up. So I did the same thing for the wine bottle except I colored in this part and the bottom first and then used green embossing powder from Recollections 
and then I did the label and the same raspberry and then used the same pro marker for the cork and the little bit of the label that was left. So I also, I don't know if I told you guys this or not, I can't remember. I For the red cardstock in the back, it's an eighth of an inch larger than this white embossed piece. And the inside, it's the same exact size. And then this piece of scrap, this is a piece of scrap cardstock that was left over from another project. So I don't know the exact dimensions of this, but I used this stampability set, a stamp set, and it says, and the story begins. And I used some Hero Art Shadow Ink in Raspberry Jam, inked it up, and then put it onto the white piece of cardstock. And that's the card. So if you guys have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm so glad to be back and be able to make videos for you guys again. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. I would love to hear from you, and um, thank you guys again so much for watching. I will see you later. Bye!